Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, one of the most famous classical composers in the world. His birthplace was Salzburg in Austria. Born in 1756, he died in 1791, meaning he was only alive for 35 years. However, he managed to cram a lot into a relatively short life. His father, Leopold, was Mozart's teacher throughout early childhood, teaching various academic subjects, of course, but most importantly, teaching Mozart music. Leopold would sit little Mozart on his knee and they would play piano together for hours and hours. And this was when Mozart was just four years of age. Leopold also taught his son how to write music on a simple blackboard with chalk, just as you see here. Soon he was playing another instrument, the violin. And he would play piano with his sister, Nanel, and his father together. onlookers soon realised was that there was something special about this boy. He could pick up an instrument and within no time start playing harmonious melodies, something that no child of his age would normally be able to do. soon playing for audiences around Europe. His father would take his sister and Mozart on a tour of many different countries and this was when Mozart was only six. This is like one of our year ones touring Europe as a paid musician. In 1962, still at only six years of age, he played for royalty. Here is a painting of the scene. Mozart's legs dangling from the piano stool because he was so small, too small for his feet to even touch the ground. <laughs> At just eight years of age, Mozart wrote his first symphony. That's right, eight. Here's how it looked. And here's how it sounded.
Not bad for eight years of age. As Mozart and his family were touring and performing far and wide, the long days would take their toll. And a young Mozart often became very sick. Even in his sickbed, his father would make sure he was practicing his music, pushing the small boy too far at times. By the age of 13, Mozart was touring Italy with his father. And his father wanted to show off his son's prowess as a performer and composer. Mozart was given work in Salzburg as a court musician. This was at the age of 17. But Mozart wanted bigger and better things. Mozart was employed by Archbishop Colorado. However, he longed to play for the emperor. After a dispute with Colorado, Mozart was relieved of his duties and he moved to Vienna. This was a big moment. Mozart finally got the chance to perform for the emperor in a competition. Almost oh, like playing on the X Factor for Simon Cowell, except the emperor was much more important. Helping him financially move on and on in his musical career. At 25, Mozart was known as the finest keyboard player in Vienna. He then went on to create three of his most famous pieces in the following five years. Mozart wrote 41 symphonies overall. Here is a list of some of the pieces he plays in chronological order. Most of the time, all of the orchestra perform very happily together. But sometimes, one instrument gets to have a little more fun. You haven't seen a 
French horn, have you? It's the start of this great piece by Mozart. He composed it for his friend Joseph, who was a brilliant horn player. This piece to me sounds like a musical chase, as if the orchestra is running after Joseph and his French horn. But the horn is always one step ahead and just replies, catch me if you can. I love a good pop song, one where you can't get the tune out of your head. And Mozart knew how to write music like that too. I just can't stop singing this tune. Good job, because this chase isn't over yet. Got to run. <laughs> See if you can put the following events in chronological order on your worksheets. Best of luck. I want you to create a poster, as if you have seen Mozart playing for the first time and he is only eight years of age. Now remember, this is the age of someone who's around year three in school. 
And this is the age that Mozart wrote his first symphony, a full piece for orchestra. So just imagine Mozart playing and performing, and you want to create a poster that advertises that performance to people. What picture would you put in the middle? Would it be Mozart playing at his piano with his legs dangling because the feet can't touch the ground? What words might you use around the outside to get people interested in coming to see this incredible child? <laughs> 